Hello, Sarah. I'm Eva, one of the doctors involved in your C-section. Hello. I'm here to debrief you and talk to you regarding what happened in the theatre as you were asleep. Is this the right time for you to talk about it? Yes, please. So, has anyone told you anything? No. Okay, I'll tell you everything in a moment, but first I want to ask about how you're doing and how you're coping with the pain and how your baby's doing. Yeah, my baby's doing well and uh, I'm generally coping as well. And sometimes I may need some pain relief, uh, but yeah, generally I'm fine. Uh, the only concern I have is uh, when I'm going to have this catheter uh, out because um, I'm now able to move and uh, I'm not sure like why we are keeping it for a long time. Yes, sir. Don't worry. I'll explain everything now. Okay. So your bladder was totally adherent to the womb and unfortunately it was injured during the dissection. And mm -hmm. so we have to leave the catheter for at least 10 to 14 days. Why that long time? Well, it's because we have repaired the injury with stitches. Therefore, the bladder will be too weak to contract and there will be a risk of urine retention. And if you were to have a retention, there is a possibility of these stitches breaking down and you'll end up with a complication called a fistula. Okay. So basically, this catheter is just to give some time for the stitches to heal. Mm -hmm. Uh, you'll be given an information leaflet and advice before you leave the hospital regarding how to take care of it. And also the community midwife will look after you. Okay. Uh, also, in two weeks, you'll have an appointment in a clinic called Trial Without Catheter to try and remove your catheter. Mm -hmm. You also may need a cystography before taking the catheter out. Okay. Do you understand so far? Yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, there is another complication, which I need to talk to you about. Mm -hmm. When we started your C-section, we found that your afterbirth is located in the lower segment of your womb, and it was deeply invading the wall of the womb. Yeah. And unfortunately, this wasn't picked up on your scan, so it was an unexpected finding. Mm -hmm. Now, the risk of having such a condition is mainly the severe bleeding and the difficulty to stop it. And that was what happened. Mm -hmm. We tried our best to stop your bleeding by giving you medications. We tried to suture the placental bed. We even ligated the blood vessels supplying your womb. However, all of these maneuvers unfortunately failed to control your bleeding. Mm -hmm. And although we were replacing your blood, your blood loss with blood transfusion and IV fluids, your body couldn't cope with the amount of blood loss and your observations showed marked deterioration. Mm -hmm. um, therefore, a second opinion was taken, a decision done by two consultants as this was a life-threatening situation. They both finally came to a decision that the only way to save your life was to remove your womb. What? Have you removed my womb without my consent? How did this happen? I'm sorry, Sarah. I know it's difficult for you to hear this and it is difficult to handle, I know, but it was to save your life. No, it's my body and no one has the right to take any decision and do it without my consent. Of course, I understand it is your right and your autonomy and we respect that. However, in the life-threatening situations like yours, we have to act in your best interest and this really was the only way to save your life. Can I get you a cup of water? Please, please. Okay. Now I completely understand how you feel and I really, truly apologize. I just wanted to tell you that we haven't removed your ovaries and that's why you won't need any hormone replacement therapy. And the other thing is we have done what's called a subtotal hysterectomy, which means that the neck of the womb is still there. So you will still need to attend your smear appointments as is planned. I'm not happy with that at all. <laughs> and I'm going to take it further. I'm so sorry. That's completely fine. It's your choice. You have the right to submit a complaint if you're not happy. There's a system called PALS, and we can guide you on how to go through with it. We've done an incident report, and you will be informed regarding the outcome of our departmental meeting. 
Do you have any questions? No. Okay, thanks. Thank you.